So we're doing problems from the additional practice packet for thinking with math models, investigation two. And we're going to look at question number three. And all we have is two points on a graph, 2, 7, and 6, 15. And we want an equation, and we want to graph it. This one, in some ways, might be easier to graph first. So I'm going to go ahead and just graph the points, 2, 7, and 6, 15. So on my grid paper, 2, 7, and 6, 15, way up at the top of my graph, way up here. So I already have those two points, and if I connect the dots and just keep them going, let's see where they take things. So there's the line. So two points, that's all you need to make a line. 2, 7, and 6, 15. There's the 2, 7, and the 6, 15 points. And now to get an equation for that line, I still need to find the slope and the y-intercept. And I can see that it looks like the y-intercept should be right there at 0, 3. And that the slope looks like it's going up 2 at a time. It goes up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2, over 1, etc. So that's the slope is up 2 over 1, or the slope is 2. So the equation should be y equals 2x plus 3. The slope is 2, and the y-intercept is 3, right from that spot there. Now, if I had not drawn the graph first and I actually just wanted to find that equation from the points, I could still do that because all I need to do is find out what the change is from 7 to 15, which is plus 8, and the change from 2 to 6, which is plus 4. And so the change in y write it like this, change in y is 8, and over the change in x, which is 4, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So there was the slope, which is what I wanted. Slope equals the change in y over the change in x. And I can do that just from by looking at the points. So I at least have this much of the equation. y equals the slope plus the y-intercept. And this is the part where now I can use the problem that I already have to solve this. So if I go with the first point and use that y7 equals 2 times x, which in this case is 2, plus b, and it should be kind of obvious now if I go 7 equals 4 plus b, then that means that the b has to be 3 for that to be true. And so now I can finish the equation that I started y equals 2x plus 3. So that was what I wanted. And I found it just by using the two points or by putting the two points on the graph and finding the slope and the y-intercept.